An invitation for an interview, uh, 10 to 15 minutes, where an interview panel will ask you five to six suitability to the program. Hello, how are you? You can't hear me? I think if you're muted, it might be your system settings because it's not sure. Zoom doesn't think you're muted. Yeah. Oh. Okay, what about now? Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's good. Okay. Great. Congrats. That was the first test, getting through the technical problems. Mm. Uh, <laughs> My name is John. I'm the Assistant Public Affairs Officer here at the Embassy. And just to start off with, congrats on making it this far. Uh, for the interviews for the Global Undergraduate Exchange Program, we're, uh, we reviewed your applications along with a number of others. It's a competitive program. Mm -hmm. And so we've only selected the strongest applicants to interview. So regardless of how this goes, you should feel proud of yourself for how well you've done already. Yeah, like John said, I work with him at the U.S. Embassy here, and uh, I typically work on political affairs. But I'm very glad that today I get an opportunity to step away from that and talk to very impressive young people like yourself. Mm, I don't think I'm not going to have difficulty living away with my, uh, from my friends and family because uh, I graduated from a boarding school. I studied there for five years, and during this time, I've never had such problems like homesickness or not getting along with people or disliking food and stuff like that. And I don't think that's going to be a problem for uh, how the education system in America function and also what kind of adjustments that uh, need to make different culture and different and, and was that experience challenging for you? Um, the first thing that pops into my mind is something that happened while I was working as an assistant teacher. Uh, there was this really active kid, you know, like doesn't really pay attention to classes at all and doesn't really want to hear what other people say and just always, you know, like doing something else all the time. And I think he came from Australia and had trouble speaking in Mongolian. That the purpose of uh, attending my class was to uh, increase his ability to speak Mongolian. And instead of just punishing him, um, I decided to talk to him privately. And I found out that uh, he feels like his parents um, doesn't give enough attention to him anymore uh, after the newborn sister of him and also like trouble speaking with uh, his classmates. It was also a challenge for him. After done with talking, I concluded that the, it's because he wants to get other people's attention by like causing trouble. And I thought that was normal for kids to act like this because I also went through that stage before. And I talked to his parents about this afterwards and he started acting a little more um, engaging and started to uh, paying attention to class more and started making friends. And right before the end of the course, he celebrated his birthday with his classmates, parents, teachers, and his little sister. And I was so happy to see him, you know, changing his behavior in a very short amount of time. And I'll never forget the hug he gave while telling me I'm the best teacher. And it was so valuable and unforgettable moments. That's wonderful. You made a big difference in his life. Thank you. Okay. So that's all the questions we have for you today. Thanks for letting us get to know you a little bit better. So that you know, uh, over the next week, we'll be finishing up these interviews. And uh, you should hear back from us about the results in about seven days or less. Okay, that's great. Uh, nice to meet you. And thank you very much for your time. And have a good rest of your day. Thank you. You too, Jim. Thank too. you. Should I leave the meeting right now? Yeah, sure. Тэгээд Хоёр <laughs> 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 
Тэгээд 